pretty exciting day today. I hauled the last five cans to the mill of Matt Cremona. And if you haven't followed his videos, you should. Um, the sawmill that we're going to work on today is what he built from scratch over about the last nine months. Um, we got there and we uh, I was just going to drop him off and then we decided why don't we go ahead and uh, at least do three of them. So uh, this is the first one. So to give you a little perspective on the size of this, um, that piece of cant is 15 and a half inches wide by 12 inches tall. Um, and uh, so he's got about, I believe it's, I think it's a 60 inch wide capacity on this saw and it's about 14 and a half feet long. So we did a couple of passes originally. This, so the first one, this is the very first one. We just uh, to kind of true up the cant, um, and surprisingly, it was within about a quarter of an inch over the entire distance. And these are about six and a half feet long. Um, when we cut it and uh, just you know true it up, there was only about a quarter inch variation. Um, and this is all cut out of uh, if you looked at the previous videos with a chainsaw. So I'm um, pretty happy that we were able to, or I was able to do that and have that come out as well as it did. Um, not all of them are like this, but this one had to come out pretty well. So we made that first cut, and then we uh, turned it over and uh, did a one, turned it 180, and then moved and did the second <coughs> cut to uh, true it up. And that's what this one is here. So the saw blade on this is about, I believe it's 25 feet long on that. And uh, so what we decided to do is, again, these are 15 and a half inches wide. Uh, decided to go ahead and uh, make these six quarter, so over an inch and a half. And uh, there's Matt. Smile, Matt. Yay. Um, so this is our first board, and I believe we got six of these 15 and a half by uh, six quarter uh, boards to go ahead and uh, try and uh, hopefully in about a year be able to use that. So we had the other two uh, cans that we are going to do and we decided to do those together. Um, so we dropped them on the mill and these are about 12 by 12. Now these we decided to go ahead and uh, make uh, 16 quarter square stock. Um, Matt has a project on the Wood Whisperers Guild and uh, he built this uh, farm table and the base pieces and the frame is made out of 16 quarter. So that's what I'm hoping to make some of this stuff out of there. This will be some of the, the legs and the, the short pieces. So again, well, this is just the first cut to go ahead and uh, true it up, cutting up together. So this is about, I believe we figured it was about a little over 20, inch, almost 21 inches of a cut uh, when this is running through. And it's still, and this is real time, uh, saw didn't bog at all. Um, he changed the blade recently, but it still runs along really nicely and doesn't bog down at all. So one of the things I forgot to mention is I wasn't planning to tape today. So this is all off my cell phone, so I apologize in advance for the poor quality of uh, video that we got going on here. But you do use what you got. So one of the things we did to try to get these more uniform is we actually uh, got them sliced down and set the mill off of the bed to a certain to the same height. And then went ahead and uh, left it there. And then we rolled it back and then restacked the cants in a vertical position and then made that cut. So the bottom pieces are going to be square. Um, they're uh, about 16 quarter, just a little bit, about four and an eighth, four and a quarter on these. And, uh, then made this cut, and then when we came back and uh, pulled everything off, pulled the mill back again, 
and then made our second pass and then we could get basically then we end up with the top stuff that we could take off but then we basically ended up with eight 16 quarter by about six foot square stock for those farmhouse legs and go from there so um, so this was a lot of fun today. We did uh, some other stuff, pulled some of Matt's smaller pieces. We're trying to get he was trying to get those cleared off so um, he could make some more room in his yard. His yard is very full, and then uh, he's got some work to do to the blade guides and a couple of things. And then we'll run the rest of the material, and then he can bring some of the the big stock uh, once he has his trailer and. Uh, He's able to cut that up and see what we can do. What he can do to cut some big stuff. So, um, so we'll be back in a little while, and uh, then uh, here's the finished stuff for those three of them. So we still have eight of the cants for the branches to cut up. Plus, we have the main trunk, uh, which is again that one was I think. 44 inches by nine and a half feet and hopefully get some live edge out of that and uh, get that cut up into slabs in the coming months and then get that stuff dried and then in uh, maybe a year's time year and a half after this gets nice and dry we can start making some furniture so till next time thanks